Good evening. I'm Darren Walker and I serve as president of the Ford Foundation. 2017 was a special year for the history makers. Their staff and crews traveled to Savannah, Miami, Jackson, Mississippi, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Dallas, Texas to both hold regional receptions and to interview area history makers. But more importantly, history makers convinced Franklin Thomas, the first African-American head of the Ford Foundation, to have his life and career honored with the PBS taping of an evening with Franklin Thomas. Every day, I reflect that my work stands on his shoulders. In fact, I was 20 years old at the time of his appointment and had no idea where my career would lead me. I had no idea that I would now lead the organization that he transformed. In 2017, New York's business and civic community came out to honor this great man. Let's take a look. People get ready. There's a train coming. Don't need no ticket. You just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the diesels humming. You don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. People get ready. There's a train to Jordan. Picking up passengers from coast to coast. Faith is the key. Open the doors and board them. There's hope for them all. Among the love. For the hopeless sinner Who would have to hold All the time to save them all all. Have pity on those Chances grow thinner For there is no hiding place Against the kingdom strong Come on now This site is truly a tapestry of culture of all of our humanity. That's a tremendous history in those years. Trust with the donor, it takes time. Okay, so hold on. I you can talk to her later. IBM was the type of company that I would be interested in working in because of what they stood for. You know, clearly a technology leader in the marketplace, but at the same time, it was a company that viewed diversity as a business, that you want the best and brightest across uh, various constituencies, generating um, ideas and making contributions that can make a, that can make a difference um, in our industry. And uh, that's what IBM stood for, and that sort of value proposition resonated extremely well with me. I was the first black person in a white collar position at the Herald, because the other people who blacks who worked there, they they were either um, 
the, the domestic worker who cleaned the buildings, building, or the press, the guys who worked in the press room mixing the ink. I was, I was the first, and the black guys were so proud of me. They were so happy to see me there. They didn't know what to do. Uh, my dad was starting to build Johnson Products Company, and the best form of transportation was a station wagon that he could load up with product and go to Detroit, Cleveland, uh, Kansas City, Philadelphia, and sell what was then our first product, Ultrawave. And that was really my um, breeding ground, if you will, that developed an interest in business. And Johnson Products Company through the years obviously has been a, uh, a legendary institution in the black community. I remember it like it was yesterday when I had the uh, first client. Uh, this lady walks in, much younger than me, or maybe about the same age. I would say uh, back then, what was I, 29, somewhere in there. But they were very cheap. They were looking for someone that they could get for almost nothing. And ba da, there I am. So her plan was to get all she could get from me at a very good price, okay, she and her husband. And uh, my plan was to get all I could get from them and possibly get published. I wanted to make the house spectacular and they were willing to use me to make that happen. So we all kind of got what we wanted. You live, you die, you dream tonight, tides rise, they fall. You play, you run, you sing, you dance, hear love that calls. With silent steps that leave their print to take you there. With gentle lips, with tender notes, you make the words come true. And silent steps that leave their print to take you there. With gentle lips, with tender notes, you make the words come true. And silent steps that leave their print to take you there. Take me there. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to my dearest friend, my brother, in every sense of the word, Franklin Thomas.